Yeah. Hey y'all, what is up? And welcome back to my channel for another part of the Sims 3 to the Sims 4 series. So we've made it you guys we are we are done this is the last family for our sunset valley families in the sims 3 and i'm i'm sad about it i really am i've had so much fun with this series it's probably one of my favorite series i've ever done and i love it so much that i am continuing on with different world and neighborhoods in the sims 3 so next week hopefully you should be seeing our twin brook families i have started on them already but Anyways, I decided to go ahead and end this series with a bang. <laughs> so we are recreating the Alto family, which, you know, we're pretty much all familiar with the Alto family. Um, but if you aren't, I'm going to kind of tell you a little bit about them. So this is a long video because they live in a mansion. And the main reason why I waited so long to do this family is because of that reason. Just mansions, ugh, don't like them. I mean, I feel very accomplished, don't get me wrong, when I'm done, but eh, not a fan of building them. But anyways, the Alte family consists of, oh my gosh, hello, Carissa. Who does it consist of? <laughs> Brain fart. Okay, it consists of Nick Alto, his wife, Vita Alto, and their daughter, Holly Alto. So, a little bit about them. Um, Nick, he is an adult, and his biography states that an utterly ruthless businessman, Nick Alto, along with his wife, has plotted the misfortune of almost everyone they've met. And he is a vice president in the business career. And if you guys remember the Langerick family, not Langerick, oh my gosh, I don't even know what I'm talking about, the Landgrab family. You know that um, they are kind of like enemies, especially if you play The Sims 3. It was kind of fun, little family rivalry that they had going on because both Nick and Nancy are vice presidents in the business career. So it's kind of like a competition to get to the top. Um, so yeah, they they are kind of opposite. The land grabs are old money, and the altos are more new money. Um, so they don't get along very well. So. Yeah, his personality is, he is a workaholic, he's family-oriented, he's hydrophobic, ambitious, and mean-spirited, and his lifetime wish is to be the emperor of evil. So, he's not a nice sim, he's very mean-spirited, he's very ambitious, but he's also family-oriented, so to me it kind of seems like that he would do whatever it takes to get on top as ambitious as he is and mean-spirited he doesn't care about hurting others or their downfall as long as he gets to the top and the way he sees it it's for his family you know he wants to have a very successful family a successful lineage and he's also a workaholic which has kind of got him up to that point so yeah he kind of reminds me of somebody out of a movie <laughs> i don't know kind of like he looks like he's in the mob to me um but yeah, I think that his little recreation, create a sim, turned out really, really nice. And I think it turned out pretty good, if you ask me. But anyways, moving on to his wife, Vita. So her biography says, As charming as she is unscrupulous, it is highly unfortunate for all of the town that Vita Alto is a politician with any sort of power. So she is in the politician's career. So um, if you don't love this family, as usual with all the families, I do kind of cheat their skills and cheat their career and their relationships to kind of mimic what it would be on The Sims 3. So, her traits is that she's evil, she's charismatic, she's a snob, she's a smoozer, and she's ambitious. And her lifetime wish is to become leader of the free world. So, she's actually evil while Nick is just mean-spirited. So, I definitely think that she is um, the one that's a little bit more obnoxious. And she probably doesn't contribute uh, very well to his, his mean-spiritedness with her, with her attitude as well, you know. Um, I feel like they're just probably uh, a disaster of a couple together because they bring out the worst in each other. I don't think they bring out the best in each other at all, but anyway, as far as her recreation, I think she turned out perfect too, and I created them a while ago, <laughs> and I'm 
I remember I was creating them and my boyfriend walked in and he was like, why does she have a stank face? <laughs> and I was like, honey, she is, she, is, she is a stank. Like, she is so rude. <laughs> I was like, I'm trying to portray her because she did. She just kind of looks unapproachable. So I did kind of droop her mouth down. She's very thin. Um, I did. I think I gave her a few wrinkles. Um, I don't, I don't remember. I, w I don't remember. Because I just, I, I was kind of reading and not looking. <laughs> but I know that with Nancy Landgrab, I kind of gave her, kind of made it look like she had a boob job and some Botox. And I, I think I did give Vita a little bit of some wrinkles. But, um, I don't know. I think she probably does get Botox a lot or something. Just because she has the money and wants to look good. Because she's selfish like that. Not that getting Botox is selfish. That's not, ew, that's not what I meant. Don't take that the wrong way. Because, no offense really honestly <laughs> but she's just kind of vain it just in general you know what I'm saying um but also I think that her steak face would kind of give her wrinkles because she just cannot stop walking around just being mean to everybody and giving people the stank face so that's my logic behind it but I think she looks really nice and I did give her I believe it was the dress that came with um they get famous, so they do live in Del Sol Valley, as you can see me doing the house right now. But before I get into all that, let me tell you a little bit about their daughter, Holly. So they have a teenage daughter, and her name is Holly, and her biography states that Holly somehow managed to develop the polar opposite moral code of her parents, and is constantly thriving, or striving, there you go, to turn them to good. So, she is in high school. She's a B student. Her traits is good, vegetarian, artistic, easily impressed. Um, so, she is the complete opposite of her parents. And I, I always thought that was really cool in The Sims 3 when I would play with this family. Um, that she didn't turn out anything like them. And she wants them to be nice people. So, she's constantly just trying to, you know... Uh, make them proud and be a good example but I, I just don't think there's any hope I mean they're just kind of too mean they're all about the power and um what's really cool about Holly is that since we got Del Sol Valley and get famous in The Sims 4 for those of you who don't know um the Sims team actually recreated a bunch of different Sims from like The Sims 2 days and The Sims 3 days so Holly Alto is actually a famous Sim <laughs> and Del Sol Valley get famous if you have that pack so yeah you probably if you was to download this family you know you probably have a, a famous Holly walking around um I'm not really sure what to do about that but this is just me recreating them so I guess it doesn't really matter this is the teenage version of her but I don't know I always thought that was kind of interesting out of all of the sims that they would have you know recreated they they brought back uh, Dustin Broke and Dirk Dreamer I I would not imagine that they would bring Holly Alto back to be famous just because she was kind of the opposite of her parents. She She's kind of shy and just a sweet, spirited girl. I just never in a million years would have imagined her, you know, growing up and becoming famous. But The Sims 4 is like an alternate universe, so it doesn't really have to make sense. So, anyways, yeah, their daughter Holly is just the opposite of them, and she does have uh, better relationships with obviously everybody in town. She doesn't have a negative relationship really with anybody in the land grab family, whereas her parents are enemies with them. But yeah, that is a little bit about the Alto family. So, moving on to the building part of this video. Whew. I dreaded doing this house. Absolutely dreaded it. But I knew from the very beginning ever since, you know, I got Del Sol Valley that I did want to build their house here in Del Sol Valley. I just thought that it was the perfect lot. Their house is like very pink and just fancy looking. I think it would fit in perfectly with the surrounding area. They want the best of the best. So, yeah, I really like how their house turned out. It wasn't as hard as I thought it would be but it did take me a lot of time especially because of the terrain tool because in the sims 3 their pool and their backyard is kind of you know on like like this kind of similar as it, to it as I could get um but I, I think it turned out good I'm proud of myself so hopefully you guys um 
agree and y'all y'all like it because I worked really hard on it it kind of like stressed me out but I think I'm getting a little bit better at the terrain tool not much really I don't use it unless I'm doing this series but anyways their house is definitely a mansion as big of a mansion as it is it doesn't have that many bedrooms though I believe there is there's only three bedrooms but of course you could make more bedrooms because they do have like a theater an office a gym so I mean you could make more bedrooms but idealistically realistically you wouldn't need them um but I, I do I think I did tweak the floor plan a little bit because I don't even I don't even think in the sims 3 version I don't even think that there was a third bedroom I think it was just two so yeah I, I did change it up a little bit just for it to make sense but anyways here I am just kind of working on the landscaping and I did cut out a lot of the um, exterior. I don't really remember what but I tried to make this video as short as I could because I know people don't like to sit for like an hour long speed build. Um, so I did try to speed it up a little bit more than what I usually would and cut out a little bit of, you know, redundant stuff, me struggling. Oh, but I will say, have I done it yet? No. Okay, so these windows that you see on the house, I actually get rid of those and change them. Um, because for some reason I wasn't thinking about the windows and everything that we got with Get Famous. So I had to change the wall height. And here I am putting in these windows. Which has like a black frame that brings out the stone and the black fencing. I think it looks so pretty. So much better. I'm so glad I thought of that. So yeah, I think it turned out a whole lot a whole lot nicer with those windows. So yeah, here I am changing that up. I just, you know, I did leave that in because I wanted you guys to be able to see that. It looks a lot better like this. And yeah, I did put that little pond out there that came with Get Famous as well. I think it's really, really pretty. And they do have like a pond in their front yard. And at first I was going to try to do that myself, but I don't like doing ponds either. I'm not very good at making it look realistic. So I remembered that we did get that pond and I think I'm pretty sure I didn't include it but I do think I did um size it up to be a little bit bigger but beware if you download this house for this family or just for you know a famous or rich family in general that that pond could kill them you know it has sharks in it so be careful <laughs> but anyways on to the interior of the house which is where i definitely struggle with the most when it comes to freaking speed builds and mansions <sighs> i think it's because i have absolutely no experience <laughs> when it comes to mansions like not rich <laughs> don't live in a mansion none of my friends live in mansions but i was just trying to think of movies and things I've seen. Sorry if it sounds like really weird me talking. Indigestion is like kicking my butt right now. And I really need to go pop some Tums. But I'm going to try to get through this voiceover as you know fast as I can. So y'all bear with me. Y'all know I hate voiceovers. And <laughs> this is a long one. But anyways. I wanted this house to be a lot more fancier than... Well, I mean, the land grabs house actually was pretty fancy, but it was more like old school fancy, you know? I used more of the vintage furniture, whereas with this house, I, I used a lot, and I mean a lot, of the stuff that came with um, our Get Famous pack. So, I did include a laundry room, of course, because y'all know I'm always trying to make it realistic, and I put it right there, and... Actually, I also end up putting a basement, which I could have included the laundry room down in the basement too, but I really wasn't thinking about the basement when I did that, and it's fine. It's not a big deal. I think it looks nice how it is, but I did include a basement. You'll see me kind of build that later, and the reason being is because I really wanted them to have a vault. I just felt like that this family, as money-obsessed as they are, they would definitely for sure have a freaking vault. And the rooms in this house aren't very big. And I just could not fit that big bulky vault in it like I could the land grab family. I was able to fit it in uh, Nancy and Jeffrey's room because it was so massive. Um, so I ended up making, you know, a little 
separate hallway right there next off of the kitchen with a door that leads down to a basement where they have a vault. They store their money. I just don't see them being without a vault at all, but their house is very black and white themed as you can see. I think the kitchen turned out nice. I didn't clutter the kitchen up too much just because I felt like they would not have a very cluttered house. When I think of mansions and big fancy houses like this, um, I just think of walking into a house and it being kind of like a museum. Like, oh, I don't want to touch this. I'll break it. I don't think they'd have a lot of clutter items laying around. And I also imagine that they would have a butler. So the bedroom upstairs... Um, it could be a guest bedroom if you don't like to play with butlers, but I definitely think that it's high maintenance and fancy as this family is, that they would definitely have a butler that kind of, you know, kept up the house for them and cooked for them. I don't see Vita cooking at all. Maybe Holly likes to help and maybe she's very close to the butler and, you know, she just wants to kind of help him out as much as she can because you know, hello, he's taking care of them all, and she's just a good-hearted sim, but for the rest of the family, nope, I don't see them doing laundry, don't see them doing any of the dirty work, so I definitely imagine that they would have a butler. So, anyways, I gave them, like, a little wine rack over here, too, um, but as far as, like, the, the floor plan, I'm trying to remember what I did different, and one thing I do know is that the downstairs bedroom is, I'm pretty sure, well, no, upstairs, the butler's room is probably the smallest, but the downstairs room is not as big as it was in The Sims 3, and I think it's just because, like, the gridding is a little bit different in The Sims 4 versus The Sims 3, and then also I kind of, you know, added the extra rooms in, and I changed the shape of this room a little bit, um, just to make it easier to build, but Anyways, the downstairs room right here in The Sims 3 was originally Holly's bedroom, and she had her own bathroom and everything, but I, um, I didn't like that, <laughs> because upstairs, it just, it wasn't, ugh, I don't really know how to explain it. I just imagine that this downstairs, having, like, the balcony right here that goes off out into the backyard, it just looked more like of a, a master suite to me, so this is Nick and Vita's room. It's not very big. You would think that they would have a bigger room, a bigger bathroom for sure. The bathroom's actually pretty small. Holly definitely has the biggest bathroom, but it's okay. I just, I felt like that made more sense. So yeah, as you can see, I'm using the heck out of um, all the Get Famous furniture that we had. I gave them a nice fancy closet because of course I think that Vita would have the best of the best. She has a bunch of clothes. She's always trying to look nice. She has her little vanity over here and I did go with the red for their room because most of the house is black and white and I kind of wanted to have you know a little bit of pop of color so I felt like that would look really really good here in the master bedroom. So yeah I don't know. I think it turned out okay but overall I don't know. I just, I'm not very good, I don't think, at doing mansions. Because, like I said, it's just out of my comfort zone. I'm not used to it. And I definitely don't like their bathroom. <laughs> Goodness gracious. Excuse me. I, like, inhaled air really fast and it choked me. And I'm not going to edit that out. So, you're welcome. <laughs> We're going to keep it all natural here because this is a long video. And if I edit that out, then it's just going to make the talking part shorter. But, anyways, yeah. Their bathroom right here. I would imagine that they would have a way bigger bathroom. But, I don't know. I just, I don't really like it not a fan of it, I'm gonna be honest with you, <laughs> but it works, it turned out nice, and I think originally this bathroom in The Sims 3, there was only one bathroom downstairs, so it was kind of like Holly's bathroom and the downstairs guest bathroom, which didn't make sense to me, especially since I had to change this to the master bedroom. I definitely don't think Nick and Vita would have their guest and stuff just coming through their room to use their bathroom. So when we get over to the other side of the house, you'll see I kind of add a little half bath so everybody can have access to a bathroom. Um, or you could go upstairs. So yeah, this house is just very grand. There's um, a whole separate seating area upstairs, as you'll see once we get there, but anyways, yeah, I just, I'm not, I'm not a fan of how it turned out, 
but <laughs> you know what here I am trying to figure out what to do with this vault I'm like okay I want a vault where am I gonna do with it so here I am building the basement so I kind of just insert that right here in this corner and I do end up putting like a wall and a door there so it's not so obvious I don't think that they would have just easy access to their vault <laughs> so I imagine that that door is definitely locked and nobody can get into it but Nick and um Nick and Vita so anyways down here I just I kept it pretty basic you know kind of like a basement I kind of made it kind of small I didn't put any extra details but you know you could definitely add what you want to down here I just I really wanted them to have a vault a place to store all their goods and their money but anyways moving on to the downstairs seating area so this is kind of what I imagined would be like the sitting area for Nick's office because the octagonal room right there is his office so I just imagine that this would be kind of like his little seating area when he has guests over business partners or anything and I want to say that I do change something I think I changed the couches or maybe the color swatches or something in this room because I struggled I'm not gonna lie I struggled a lot with this room and I don't know why I just I struggled with this house as many times as I've said it I'm gonna keep saying it I struggled with it It just sometimes I just I can't I can't I'm not good at it it just looked too cluttered and I wasn't wanting it to look cluttered I wanted it to look like they had a lot of nice things and I couldn't find the balance between cluttered and having a lot of nice things anyways you guys I'm kind of like struggling right now in this voiceover we're like 20 something minutes 20 minutes into it and we still got quite a bit to go and I just find it boring for me personally to talk about the build the whole time um, so I'm, I'll probably come in and out just kind of explaining things but for the most part I think what I'm gonna do is just kind of do like a little Q&A a little fun get to know me type thing while we're just chilling through this voiceover hope you guys don't mind I think I had saved one somewhere so hopefully I can find it real quick I did I found it um, but I, I do want to say real quick um, since I'm about to start talking about this um, there's the little half bathroom I was talking about and then of course the office that I decorate is for Nick so hopefully you like that and then we do the entryway which is really nothing special I kind of just kept it as decluttered as I could you know it's just too fancy looking I feel like we don't have enough fancy stuff and then upstairs um I'll, I'll talk about that when we get up there but anyways moving on so I don't have to like ramble right here this is an unusual ask little questionnaire just for fun so we have something to talk about it says is your room messy or clean my room is clean <laughs> and if you would have asked me this when I lived <laughs> by myself or as a teenager it would have been messy but right now I am living with my boyfriend and his parents we we're in the process of purchasing land and stuff um, for after the baby's born we're not probably gonna be living with them for a while when the baby's born just because we want to be able to afford the land we don't want to get into debt super fast so we've been saving money and we're kind of like in the process of either purchasing um, a nice house with land or purchasing land and then building or doing something like that because we need land we have too many dogs um and outdoor activities stuff that he's really into we just can't live in a little neighborhood so anyways for the time being we are living with his parents and I think if you have watched any of my other speed builds or just ramblings I've talked about his mom and how she was just kind of like an OCD clean freak so her house is always spotless so yes um, the room is clean it's very clean we have to make the bed when we get up because she likes the bed made which I never made my bed up at all when I lived by myself or you know with my parents that's just not something that we did we didn't make beds we didn't really keep the house super clean we'd have like a cleaning day on the weekend and then the rest of the day it just we just kind of let it go um but you know there's just the different family dynamic but it's fine and you know I enjoy it I enjoy being around a clean house and it's made me a lot cleaner person so I now like clean up after myself so it's kind of a good thing but anyways yeah the house is uh very clean and the room is clean as well so definitely not messy number three what color are your eyes my eyes are brown <laughs> 
and for the longest time I hated having brown eyes because I always wanted blue eyes and it would piss me off because my mom has blue eyes and her brother has blue eyes and my cousin which is my brother's or her brother's son my first cousin he has blue eyes and then my dad has brown eyes so me and my brother got my dad's brown eyes and I just always wanted blue eyes um, and my boyfriend has beautiful beautiful I'm not just saying this because I love him <laughs> and he's like you know my man candy Monday but oh my god he's got the most beautiful eyes so pretty and his whole family has blue eyes I don't think there's there's maybe one or two people in his family that has brown eyes but their dominant trait is their blue eyes they all have beautiful blue eyes so I'm really hoping that Cooper when he's born he has his daddy's blue eyes and then his daddy's blue eyes are so dominant they're a little bit dominant over my brown eyes since my mom has blue eyes maybe he'll kind of get that you know blue eye recessive trait for me i don't know i don't really remember how biology works but just a little fun fact i really want him to have blue eyes like his daddy because i just i love blue eyes if you have blue eyes i'm so jealous of you but there's nothing wrong with brown eyes too i've embraced my brown eyes i think they're like big pretty puppy dog eyes so yeah. <laughs> Four, do you like your name and why? So, my name is Carissa, and just real quick, <laughs> while we're talking about my name, I know I've had a lot of people ask me, how do you pronounce, um, is it Carrie or Kari? What is the Kari? Is it Kari Sims or Carrie Sims? And it's Kari Sims, um, because my name is Carissa, not Carissa, so I would think that it would be pronounced Kari, but also I have a few friends that used to call me Kari, um, not many, but a few. So, anyways, it's Kari Sims. My name is Carissa. And I do, I love my name. And I had a lot of people um, <laughs> make fun of my name for it being, like, so unique or whatever. But uh, it's really not that unique now that, you know, I'm older. I've met a few other Carissas. Um, but I like it. I like having a unique name. I liked growing up in, you know, classes where I was the only Carissa. I was the only Carissa in the whole school for a long time. I think until I got to high school and then there was another Carissa, but her name was spelled different. Um, but a lot of people were like, where'd your mom come up with that name? But and I think just back then when I was younger, it was a little bit more unique than what it is now. But yeah, I really do like my name. I think it's, it's nice to have a different name. <laughs> Um, what is your relationship status? I am in a relationship. Unfortunately, I'm not engaged yet. We talked about it and we're just, we're going to wait until after the baby's born before we, you know, get engaged and plan a wedding and all of that. But definitely do see myself engaged very soon. And hopefully within the next two years, I will be married. <laughs> um, what color hair do you have? My hair is brown. It's very dark brown. Dark, dark brown. My boyfriend always calls me black-headed Pocahontas. And it pisses me off. He's like, that black-headed thing. Like, that black-headed. Like, he always refers to me as that black-headed thing. Um, My hair is not black, honey. <laughs> I'm like, my hair is brown. He's like, no, it's black. No, it's brown. Like, get it out in the sun and you can see the tints of brown. But, anyways, pause on talking about me. <laughs> Oh, here we are in Holly's bedroom. So, upstairs, like I said, I did squeeze in two bedrooms. One for Holly and then a guest bedroom. Or you can use it for a butler. But, um, her room is very girly, very sweet. I just really wanted it to portray her, you know, sweet, um, demeanor that she has in The Sims 3. Um, and then you'll see me do her bathroom. And then there's a guest bathroom. And then the butler's room, I think, turned out really nice, um, pretty much plain Jane, but it's still very cozy. And then there's a seating area right out there that I do put some activities because Holly actually likes to paint. So I did give her like a little painting area and some different like skill building items in that sitting room. And then there's another big foyer upstairs. And then there is a theater room. I did want them to have like a TV, so I imagine they would have a theater. So, I ended up making that a theater, and then off next to the theater, there is a gym. So, that is what we're working on up here, but I don't feel like talking about the build. I just can't. It's too long. It's too much, you guys. So, anyways, um, how would you describe your style? Very comfy. <laughs> 
um, not high maintenance at all when it comes to clothing. Now, don't get me wrong. I do like to go shopping and buy myself some clothes. It's not that I'm super low maintenance. I do like to go shopping every now and then for myself. But as far as, like, the clothes I wear, I'm not really into, like, name brand stuff. I like a discount. I like to go to Burke's. I like to go to Ross's. I like to go to Marshall's, TJ Maxx, Burlington. That's probably my favorite places to shop because... You know, I'm balling on a budget, and I just don't see the point of spending a lot of money on clothes. And you, you go to places like that, and you can find name brand stuff for really cheap. But aside from, you know, me liking, you know, those discount stores and stuff like that, along with Target. I love Target. Um, my style is just, like, very relaxed, honestly. I live, especially, like, okay, when I'm not doing anything, when I'm at home, and just like hanging out, I'm in a t-shirt and I'm in Nike shorts or something comfortable because I just like to be comfortable, especially being pregnant. Like I'm not dressing up unless I'm going somewhere. Like it just ain't happening. <laughs> but in this, you know, winter time, I'll be in leggings, a long sleeve t-shirt, you know, maybe like a pico top. I just very relaxed. I like to be comfortable. But when I do dress up, you know, I don't like bright colors. I've just never been a fan of bright pink or bright yellow style clothing. Um, so I'm, I'm more like neutral tone colors. And I don't wear a lot of jewelry. I don't accessorize a lot. I don't know. I guess I'm just very boring. I guess that's my style. Boring and relaxed. I don't know. <laughs> and then the only time that I'm really decked out is... On Sundays, sometimes when I go to church, you know, I'll put on a dress or something and, you know, put some earrings in, maybe a necklace, and just kind of, you know, take that opportunity to wear some, like, wedges or something different and feel good and look good, you know, because, you know, when you do dress up, I will say that when you do dress up, you do feel better, but I also like to be comfortable, so you see my struggle. <laughs> Anyways, moving on. Um, if you could live anywhere in the world, where would it be and why? Um, that's kind of a hard question because I've never really been outside <laughs> of the South. I haven't been out much at all. I've never been on a plane. I'm just a born person, but yeah, I don't know. I think that if I could live anywhere in the world, it would have to be somewhere where there's, it's kind of country. <laughs> Um, I, I don't think I could live in the city. I've never visited a big city or anything like that, but I definitely want to. I just don't think that I could. I'm so used to living, like, in the South that I just could not adjust to, like, L.A. living or New York living. I just could not adjust to it at all. I like to be outside. I like, you know, I'm just, I'm used to the South and all of the space and the yard and the green and the, the, acreage and stuff like that so I don't know that's a hard question I would say that I wouldn't move because I've always said that once I had a family and started my family I don't want to ever have to move away from my parents or a family just because I don't want my grand or my kids not being close to their grandparents and then being in a bind being away from them not having family to lean on to help us with the kids or just really anything in general so if I could live anywhere I don't know where it would be I'd, I'd honestly have to get out and travel <laughs> so that's kind of a stupid question I don't even know why I'm answering it if I can't even give you a straightforward answer but wherever it would be if I did travel and find somewhere that I absolutely loved and want to live. I would definitely have to pack up my family and bring them with me because I just, I couldn't leave them. I couldn't be away from them. There's no way, no way. <laughs> okay, let's see, moving on. How many times a week do you shower? I shower every single night. <laughs> I, w I just, I can't go to bed dirty. I can't, it doesn't matter if I don't do anything all day. If I sweat, or I just, I can't get in the bed dirty. I can't. So, um, I shower every night. If I don't shower, it's because I'm sick or something and I just, or I'm so tired, I don't want to. Um, but if I'm dirty, for sure, or I've been off, you know, working, doing something all day, I have to take a shower. I wash my hair every other night, um, for the most part. Sometimes I've let it go two nights without washing it. 
but my hair is very long and very thick and you would think that my hair being very long and very thick that it it you know I could go a few probably a week without washing I know people who do but I don't like the way it feels it just feels dirty so usually I wash my hair every other night <laughs> but anyways that's a little TMI about my shower time there but moving on to another question um favorite tv show let's see i have a lot of favorite tv shows because i like to watch netflix and stuff like that <laughs> um but i think that if i had to pick right now um it would be the 100 and that is because it just came back on season six just premiered and that's kind of what i've been keeping up with but i started watching the 100 on netflix and I kind of got my boyfriend into it. He loves it. And like I said, season six just started. So we've kind of been keeping up with that. I also really enjoy The Voice, American Idol, competition shows, stuff like that. Um, I like The Vampire Diaries. I like The Original. I just Dawson's Creek, Once You're Heal. I mean, there's so many shows that have impacted me <laughs> in my life. And I've gotten attached to the characters that it's really hard for me to say. But yeah, I have a lot of... Um, a favorite TV shows because I like to be lazy and binge watch shows often. So yeah. <laughs> NT ways, how tall are you? I'm five two. I'm pretty short. Um, what size shoe do you wear? I wear a seven and a half. Sometimes an eight. Just depends. But anyways, I'm gonna save the rest of those questions for another long bill because this one should be wrapping up. And I just feel like y'all probably just hate my voiceovers when I do this because it's like girl either talk about the build or shut up but I can't it's too long so I hope you enjoyed the inside renovations or furnishings of the house I kind of tried to explain each room but hopefully you kind of saw how self-explanatory that was but here we are out in the back I really wanted the backyard to look like you know it would accommodate a place for them to have lots of parties and stuff so I gave them a bar area out there a nice hot tub a seating area you know, I just imagine that they would, you know, have charity benefits and stuff like that, business parties, and Holly would have her friends over. I mean, why they have the luxurious house, they have all the money, so why not make it as nice as possible? But I didn't want to like clutter it up too bad, y'all feel me? Um, but of course, we don't have for real lounging chairs to sunbathe, so I do the signature little makeshift ones which i think are nice but it'd be nice if we got a tropical pack you know and we was able to um to actually like sunbathe i really hope to see that in the future um but yeah this this build is wrapping up you guys i know you're probably so excited if you stuck around to the end let me know because you are you are a true trooper let me tell you <laughs> but for real if you're watching till the end let me know in the comments down below i'll love you forever <laughs> but anyways if you like this house and this family they are available for download on the gallery sunset valley families that's a wrap moving on to twin brook in the next video in the series um so this whole series will be in its own playlist sunset valley and then we'll start a new one for twin brook but anyways if you like it be sure to give it a big thumbs up subscribe if you have not with that being said i'll talk to you guys later bye Bye.